Welcome back to oy, oy, oy. Chaps. What are you looking up? Are you looking up the Uruk thing? Uh, I'm looking up the Sun thing. Oh, yeah. That's stupid. Uh, no orcs are were not harmed by the light, although many readers have inferred as much. There are a few passages that readers sometimes misunderstand, thus confoundingly wrongly that orcs are harmed or weakened by the sun, for example. Thus, because of the curse that lay upon them, the Norbler achieved nothing while Morgoth hesitated and Fuck, the man. dread of light was new and strong That's upon the orcs. Too much lore. Too much. All I did was read a, Cut all a sentence. Out. Yeah, but it's like, there's like cause and effect crap going on. It's like, we don't need that. I mean, you do, if you want, like... If you want lore. Yeah. I but like I don't lore. want, I didn't ask for lore. I don't give a shit what I don't, you ask I just for. wanted to get a yes or no. Do they, are they affected by the sun? And mm. you gave me a long-winded answer. You could have just said no. I, I did. I did say no. I and know. Then I, but and then I went on to yeah, why. Yeah, but you elaborated on it. Why? I, I didn't ask for that. Yeah, well, I'm elaborating it on for myself. Why do people think that? Because I thought that, too. It's because mm. of those passages. Mm. Mm. Is there a point in the movie where they're like, Oh, my God, the light is so bad. Yeah, a couple times. <laughs> exactly like that. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't see what's doing. Oh my god. Oh my eyes. Oh, oh my fucking god. I'm also armed. I have two. Kill them all. For all I know, these dudes are just chilling on their fucking work break. Yeah. They were fishing in the river, and then, and then you fucking, fucking charged across it and then across star them. stabbed a guy yeah, in the stomach. Destroyed their bonfire. Just kill them. You're just a fucking asshole. This is in defense now. I'm the bandit now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. Oh. <laughs> you stabbed him in the stomach so hard that he flipped. Yeah. As, a, as he laid down, <laughs> you just <laughs> took your sword and slashed yeah, at him until you, he died. If you really look at it, that really is like a funny thing in this game. <laughs> it's like... If you slash at somebody with a sword, I don't think they'd go flying backwards like that. No, they wouldn't. Like, not from the force of the sword hitting them. They'd, you know... They'd just be able to... The only way that would happen is if, like, they were misfooting. Yeah. Like, they were on a rock. I wish this game had weather in it. Yeah, that would be Like, cool. it's kind of lame that it doesn't have weather in it. Weather's always a fun thing in games. Yeah. Oh, good the atmosphere. Shit, man. Kind of like... like Kind of like at Helm's Deep. Yeah, that's a cool scene. I don't think I've ever seen that that scene in whole, but uh, it's it's, it's cool. like it's pretty cool. It's like thirty minutes. So I know that's what I'm saying. It's a I very long that's, scene, that's but it's an awesome scene because it's shot really well. Yeah, it's it has cool. lots of little Easter eggs in it. Got a lot of great effects in there, and a lot of death. Oh yeah, I know. A lot of fucking. That's death. why I always cite Helm's Deep. That's the only thing that I, I know about it because they're like um, Lord of the Rings because it's fucking dope. Most people prefer Helm's Deep over anything else. Yeah, because it's fucking dope. On sieges wise, mainly because it's such a like. Let's see. It was. I think. I think it was like something like thirty thousand men. Uh-huh. Or, sorry, 30,000 Uruks. Uh, yeah. Uh, versus... It's probably too... too I, I think it was 70,000. It was a lot. It was a lot of fucking Uruks. Uh-huh. Yeah, versus... Oh, I get that. Interesting. In the books, about 300 men. Oh, my. Three to 400 men. Wow. And in the movie, it looks to be about, like, 2,000 men. Okay. 3,000 men area. And then the elves come and save, well, save, the elves come and help with, like, an extra, like, thousand or two men. Oh. So it's like, mm. it's like 6,000 versus 70,000. It's like that one battle simulator where they got, like, ten Jedi fighting, like, 50,000 soldiers. Yeah. And then the Jedi win. <laughs> 
but yeah, they, uh, a lot of the, uh, Total War games that I like to play, yeah. uh, they have that as a mod. Why am I yawning so much? I have my energy drink, I'm fucking like, oh. They have a lot of, uh, mods that are all, like, you know, oh. I have, have 20,000 people. They, they, they mod in the armies of Rohan, Gondor, oh, yeah. Mordor, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. And then they mod in the map of Minas Tirith or Helm's Deep. What? And then it's a two, it's a 3v2 map. Uh, so three armies versus two. And the defenders have to hold and... Yeah. So what's what's the difference between a Mordor and a Gondor? Well, a and, a, more... and a Hodor. What is happening up here? <laughs> um... It's still happening. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, dude. Okay. Well, a Mordor are <laughs> Look armies from Mordor. Yeah. Which are consistent of Saruman's, or sorry, Sauron's, not Saruman. Sauron. Who is Saruman? He's the white wizard. Is Sauron the black one? That's racist. <laughs> he's the he's the big night guy. Okay, I know, I know the big night guy. creates the rings and all that kind of shit. Uh, created the one ring. Oh, did I fuck up and not get it? Oh, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> there might have been one more quest for me to do with that, but I don't give a shit. Yeah. So, they're consistent of orcs. Okay. And Gondor is a, the great city of men. <sighs> they're basically... They... they <laughs> Here, here's Mordor, here's Gondor. They're constantly fighting because that's really like the only major way out of Mordor oh, is to go to Gondor. To go Gondor. Okay. Well, to hit Gondor and then they could go up. Uh, so they're always at a fight and Gondor's pretty much keeping Mordor in their areas. Uh, you have a silly hat. I know. You can get that in, uh, in Dark Arisen and you can wear it. Outside of this cutscene. Should have been completely naked but that. That would have made this cutscene much more la, awkward. La, 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 oh my la, god. Look at that. Slow down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so he's an Arisen. The Duke. So he's immortal. As am I. Uglier than I thought you'd be. <laughs> so cuts her down. What are you doing here, boy? I'm a girl. These <laughs> textures girl. are terrible. Yes, they are. <laughs> Can I just say that right now? These textures are awful. But whatever. You know what? You know what? That's a good Tevin Townsend song. We were open before, though. That's the thing. Yeah, it just this is just like a ceremony. I could just go by myself. How is that hat staying on her head? <laughs> yeah, I know. There's like an elastic band going around my chin. Alright, so we're going to be a double cheese... Give me a... Give me, give me, give a, me a two number nines. One with the extra dip. <laughs> give me a second. I just saw it was, it was great. It was on a uh, um, Oni Plays recently. <laughs> it was hilarious. There was a... <laughs> I guess there was a footage of CeeLo Green. You know who CeeLo Green is? He's the... Yes. The... I know who he is. The art, like he's like you know, like an R and B artist, whatever. Yes. Um, they had footage of him. <laughs> it was like camera, like security camera footage of him in the studio. Mm-hmm. And he's on the phone, and then they play that that sound clip from GTA San Andreas where Sweets ordering all that food, and he's like, "I have two number nines <laughs> with an extra dip, two forty fives, whatever." <laughs> and then at the end, his phone explodes and he falls out of his chair. But the thing of it is, is like that actually happened. Yeah. 
<laughs> I didn't see I didn't seen it before and it's hilarious. Zelo Green's phone exploded and it was caught on game. <laughs> He's I think, okay. I think he's it was okay. actually a prank. It might. I don't know. But he's, I think he was actually a prank. But he's okay. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I don't know. It might it's have been a this, prank. Like, shaky cam. I don't know. It's, it's really like weird, weird, right? It's like really up close. It's like you're meant to like fall in love with her. And then, um, you can. And then fucking. Just... That's the stupid thing. See, it's like I play as a woman, but she still like romances you the exact same way as if you know. Hey, she's and she's into both. Maybe that's fine, but she's the she's the uh, queen or whatever. Yeah, so she's into both. Why can't why can't queens be into ladies? Because I don't know. You can't have two queens. I mean, you could. How do you know? That's just the patriarchy telling you what to do, Taylor. All right, there you go. You got my hand. Jesus Christ. Excuse me. There was some sauce on that one. <laughs> Good God. I think I threw up in my mouth a couple times. <laughs> Hello, my name is Blood Debts. You're going to go and get... Do you like my really poorly... Poor, oh poor, my God. Poorly skinned cloak? I don't know, man. It, it has very bad pixelation. This this was the same console that had Last of Us, man. Yep. <laughs> but, whatever. I, I kind of, like, wonder how this game was developed, um, because it's just like... Uh, you know, it, it met... I think it met with a lot of, uh, like, success, at least, like, you know, uh, the uh, users seem to enjoy it a lot. Uh, it's definitely a flawed game beyond yeah. beyond anything I've ever you know. It, it's super flawed as you can kind of see, but the a lot of people really enjoyed it. But it just kind of makes me wonder where it, like how it spawned over at Capcom. Like if it was just like oh, you know, we've got these assets and these ideas. Let's just kind of throw a game together. Like I wonder if that's kind of if it was just kind of like a eh, you know. Yeah. They just shit, like, you know, just mash something together and just put it out, or, like... The way I feel about Capcom is that they kind of put very low effort into a lot of their stuff. Right. Except for the ones that make them more money. Well, and that was the thing, though, like... It just seemed uh, very low effort. Well, that was the thing with, like, um... Uh, if you go back... I, I don't know, I just kind of had watched a couple of, uh... Of those, um... Like, did you know gaming's about Monster Hunter and stuff? And apparently they had three games in mind that they wanted to make that took advantage of, like, the online capability of PS2, and Monster Hunter was one. Like, they were all, like, really confident that they would, that they would sell, and I think two out of the three games did sell pretty well. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's just interesting that, like, you know, I, I feel like they sometimes do just uh, kind of just crap out games like this, yeah. you know? I don't know. It's interesting. It, Capcom is not a polished company. Typically, no. I, w- I would say typically they're not really. Their their textures look kind of eh. Their, it, it depends their on characters the characters look kind of eh. It depends on the game too. Like I feel like you know they they definitely put more effort in their Resident Evil games than than they would a game like this. Yeah. You know. But even those like their their textures are pretty eh still. Yeah. Even in those games, yeah, you know what I find interesting. I don't know if you if if you're familiar with this at all, but this game actually, uh, I guess, uh, kind of just going back to Dragon's Dogma for a second, they, uh, there is actually, um, uh, like I had just mentioned ago a moment ago that the the users seem to enjoy this game quite a bit, mm-hmm. um, so much so that actually in Japan, of course, of course, Japan loves this game. They um. They make like mod. A no, they they have an online version of it. They oh, have an on, they have a, like its own separate version of the game called Dragon's Dogma Online. Oh, and it's okay. like an MMO type thing, and uh, people fucking love it. So it's <laughs> like you know I don't know it's it's like a lot of these kind of like offshoot type games I guess like Japanese people have, fucking dig man. That's one thing about Capcom they have fandoms. Yeah, they're very much with their fandoms. It's just overall, I would say Capcom games. I do not care for that much. Yeah, I, I think I said it in one of the other episodes of one of them. I, yeah, a lot, most of the Capcom games, I'm not a big fan of either. There's just like a select few that I really, really like, and that's yeah. it. It's it, they just kind of like it, it's like they're throwing things at a board, and sometimes yeah. they hit. Yeah, no, I agree. No, I'm, I'm right there with you, dude. I'm right there with you, man. 
there's really not a ton of Capcom games that I'm a super, super big fan of. Yeah, it's the makeup shotgun. Like, I had... I have fun playing... Like, she just fucking disappeared. Why? Why did she disappear right in front of you? Who, the lady next to her? Yes. It's so unpolished. Now she's back. Yeah, I don't know. See, I don't know, man. It's like... Because like, that's what I'm confused about with the development of this. Like, was it just... Like, did they not have enough time to polish it? Did they not care? It seems what, were like they have, Were they having trouble developing it? Like, was it just an artifact of them not... You know, like, the engine not, engine not being able to support certain things? Like, I don't know. I mean, I, I like this game a lot. And I, I, obviously, the, the PS4 version is better than this. But, um... It's just... I don't know. It's an interesting beast. It's kind of... Because yeah, it's like, I don't... I don't really know much of the background on this game. Like, what? who had the vision for this? Who, who said to themselves, I want to make a game where you go out and fight a bunch of giant monsters? Probably someone who couldn't get on the Monster Hunter team. Yeah, maybe. <clears throat> so, like, it's a little too close to Monster Hunter. It's in medieval it, times. But, but, like, I don't know. Having played Monster Hunter, like, there's elements that are similar, but not entirely everything is this, is similar. I don't know. It's, it's whatever. I know. I know. I don't know if you're a fan of this game so much, but I. I I'm I, not. I obviously liked it. Like I, I've watched you play it, and it's Oops. entertaining. But I would never buy this, and I would never play. That's it. fair. That's totally fine. I'm not saying you should. Yeah. Um. It's. It's kind of it. At, by this point, even like the updated version is probably a little dated anyway. But you know, I like it a lot. I think it's fun. You know, I, I enjoy it. Next time I watch Instagram Chats, we keep playing this fucking stupid game. <laughs>